Yes, queen. Okay, queen, let's go. Yes, queen. This is how we get it started. Yeah. Kamala's going to be president. Yes, what? queen. Yeah. Um, hey, I've been smoking dope. Hey, me too. Thanks for coming to Sweat Equity Podcast. You can spend your time anywhere and you're spending it with us. And the, <laughs> me? Yeah. No, I have to be here. I st- I, 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 I goofed it's you not, up with a different intro. It, well, I mean, I don't know who you're talking to. Well, I have to be. I'm in the show. Look, we, we got to be agile. That's why we're the number one business comedy podcast in the world. Well, situating myself. We're all about entrepreneurship with... With the people who've been there, but we got no guests today, so it's just gonna be maybe a little silly time. Welcome to real life. Yeah. Uh, this episode okay. is sponsored by Zupyak, Z U P Y A K, the first search optimized AI writer. You can, I'm gonna do my own kind of uh, copy on this. They have Bye. a feature on there, you can go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can take a URL of other content and it'll remix it. How cool is that? If you've ever had to do any kind of blog content ever in your life, it is the worst a lot of the time. And this will uh, it's do... It's really it. the easiest way to steal other people's stuff. Hey, every all creative is iterative, so That's I'll justify way, it that yep, way. There you go. <laughs> uh, all my jokes, I lift from Gallagher. Yeah. Um, you, yeah. But go to uh, zupyak.com, Z-U-P-Y-A-K.com, promo code SWEAT, like key sweat, or sweat equity, the titular... A uh, little shout out. Um, and you get the to, hookup. To our own show that's happening right now. Right, it's real meta, dude. And uh, other other sponsors, Flow Desk Email Marketing. Get 50% off with the link in our description. Squarespace Call Rail Call Tracking. LinkedIn Premium, two months free. And Bloom Invoicing. Links are in the episode dis- description. Howdy, Tommy. It's called Sweat Equity. <laughs> Listening to the Sweat Equity Podcast. I didn't want to delay the intro any further, but uh, you know, St. Pete Beach, August twenty second. I'm at Sunshine Comedy Club. What? What? Yeah, be sure get that in there. It's a Thursday. Yeah. Clear your Thursdays, people. Well, I'm starting to book up stuff now. Starting Actually, just to... that one. Don't clear all of them. Starting to harass all the bookers I know, and just really start to fill up the calendar if I can. How you get ahead. And uh, if anybody wants to help me out with uh, my stand-up online presence, uh, my YouTube channel, at Lawsmith Works, as well as, you know, Sweat Equity Pod is always good, too. We got two YouTubes? I, we Why have the one for the show. Out about I this? have one for me. Why? Oh, really? You didn't know that? No. Well, what mean, is on there? Why would you? Is that <laughs> where you do all your good jokes? Teases? You do your, all, or your good jokes on that one? It's all the same stuff I post on the other social stuff, media. <laughs> like, oh, well, literally. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, but there's longer, longer uh, stand-up videos on there from years ago. Oh, good. That I can't post on the social media. And I need to build up the YouTube channel before you help me get this stand-up special we shot out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I mean you don't have anything I'm on your plate. Definitely doing it. Your house I'm definitely it, working on it. No, no, we'll 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 talk off mic because it's gonna be like just boring. Honestly, it's project not management. That, it's I'm but it's really not that uh much work. Cause yeah, because it's all you, you one f- thing. You directed it. What I'm gonna do is cut it, leave everything in. And then you watch, yep. and you tell me what to pull out. That's actually what I was going to propose. Yeah. And then uh, any of the riffs, any of the uh, off-the-cuff, whatevers, we can use as promo, you know? Right. I didn't. I try not to riff as much as I like to, but... Do we have any promo riffs? There's a, there, there's, Promoable? Your whole speech to me beforehand was like, stay on point. <laughs> Don't go off. Yeah. I'm going to give you a signal if you go too far off tangent. Island. Right. So. That's my point. But I don't there was remember just, you didn't have a lot of, you weren't, you know. Well. Uh, especially the second show you were doing all material, getting it all out. I did about 80 minutes and 58 minutes. And it was about 88 degrees. It was hot. And that motherfucker. God dang. Yeah. My notes, if I do it all over again or the next time I do it, like, 
I'll, I won't do it in the summer. Call ahead. Make sure the AC's on. I just won't do it in the summer. Like, just for the pure fact that we could have done four shows, except no one was in town. That uh, My uh, network of people. You okay. Know? Wow. It was a bad call. Did not look ahead and go, July 4th is the next week. You know, it was that weekend before July 4th. And I go, oh, everyone's taking off that whole week. You know, I mean, it was when we could do it, and we did it. Yeah, I want to do a crowd work special at some point. Um, thinking maybe late December. Yeah, or just do some kind of. No, you, we should just do a live thing. We could do that, oh, but I'm saying like make it a crowd work gimmick. No, interactive. Well, let me pitch the idea Set up before the you shit microphone on it. Like they do well, uh, at board meetings. No, John J. Get in line. Our friend of the program, John J. Murray of Something Planet, and, and uh, Pastor Preacher uh, Bradley Gilmore, both comics. They had a show in Dunedin. That's where I got this from. I've been smoking dope. <laughs> I, that's what. Because uh, I got the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> got the munchies. It's funny every time. They used to have a Tuesday night show at Dunedin Brewery that I go, I drive 45 to an hour out there every Tuesday night because there was a bucket show where the audience put topics in. Mm-hmm. And uh, the owner of that brewery was like, hey, how about we pay you half as much? And they go, No. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. They're like, that's their busiest night. Worth a shot. You know? Um, and so they said no. And now I have a real void of uh, that fun. It's so fun because it's really tough to do. Okay. Well, you and I could do that. Right. If it's, if I mean, between the two of us. But what that I'm, makes a big difference between one-on-one. Riff on this. What I'm thinking, though, right. is either we could do that. We could mix in the pod with it. Live pod. Uh, but I'm thinking also, like... We can live stream it because comics wouldn't be burning material. Yeah. Because that's the whole reason you don't want to ha- have anything live stream, but like Kill Tony right. just live stream Madison Square Garden both nights, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because it's all improv. Yeah, yeah. So That's what I'm saying. I think it'd be fun. Um, and so, we don't like to write stuff down ahead of time anyways, but do I, we? But I love what the audience puts in a bucket. You just pull it out of a bucket, and you're like, geometry? Really? Who put this in here? Oh, we you could get, go on for in, hours about indi- geometry. <laughs> just get indignant, indignant yeah, with them. Get all bent out of shape. Um, yeah. Uh, I like to look around like, what asshole did this one? What? Um, and then, uh, yeah, so maybe like December, I'm thinking for that. Oh, okay. You know, but maybe maybe at a real club, like Side Splitters. Okay. Wait, for us? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we don't have to drive far. I don't and, have to drive far. Well, and it's a kill box. It seats 270 max, but it doesn't feel like it can seat that many people. No. And when, and when it's fucking going, like 6 p.m. Saturday shows, every other club suck except for there. Yeah. And I walk in, and I have the 6 p.m. dread in my head thinking about other clubs, and then I'm like, oh, wait. People are pre-gaming in Tampa before they're going out at six. Uh-huh. That the crowd is always way better than yeah. any of the other weekend shows. So. It's a good spot. Yeah, uh, terrible no, parking. Good spot. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You can't have everything. Nothing. Um, little shout out for poor Osos. Maybe uh, Bert will give us a hookup retweet or something. But <laughs> oh my god. But no, I just wanted to bring up just my drink. Crap me out. Well, I, I more or less wanted to revive the drink because I made this beautiful cocktail, and I think pe- the people need to know about it. Okay. Describe we're, it, we're please. We're just doing topics for clips. Oh, oh, oh. No. Um, it's the Mayor Rob Ford. It's vodka. Oh, this one again? Yeah. Yeah. How many drinks have you made? Today? <laughs> How many have you made as a original cocktail? Oh, created? Yes. The recipe. I mean, anything's a cocktail if you drink it. Yeah. It's alcoholic. You put rum in milk, you got milk. One time in college, we got this thing that was like a giant beer dispenser for some reason because we thought it would be fun to then like pour beers in and then tap it ourselves. Wow. And that's some lazy college. But game. that's it, like, we should open a t shirt company. Right. Or but we, had to cl- we had to clean it first. Soapy, you know, get it all cleaned inside. And we didn't wash the soap out good at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro. So, yeah. You're, and I you're, saw crazy. Like, it was like, you, I drank so much soap beer that night. It was like. Is this dawn light? <laughs> everything had like this blue, like my vision had like blue tint around it. Really? Like electric. Like it was eight odd. mile? Yeah. Like, you go to the Those Midwest the in the winter, it does feel like a, everywhere's eight mile because everything's a blue tint. 
Yeah, you know? that's pretty much it. No, I mean like a fluorescent glow on the outside of things. Wow. You have uh, experimented with a lot of things. But that, that, was not, that was not on purpose. Not on purpose. Don't like the uh, on accident ones. But, you know, we should have just poured one in. Tried it. <laughs> but we're like, let's pour all 80 beers in there. You know, then try it. This is your biggest regret 23 years later. I don't regret it. It's a good okay. fun story. Well, here's the drink. The Mayor Rob Ford. If you remember Rob Ford, 2012, 2014. So topical. Looks like uh, Chris Farley if he was a mayor. That is the number one problem with the drink, though. Let me finish. Rob Ford's gone. I know. It's so good he went to heaven. He has enough pussy to eat at home is the best quote of any politician of all time. Yeah. I got I got plenty right. to eat at when home. When he was in the spotlight, he was fucking magic. Look, yes. It's, it's, a, it's a, Lightning in a bottle. It's an homage to him, okay? Does that work? I guess, but I mean, His, nobody's going to understand he, it. They say you die twice when you when you're, your physical death and then when people stop saying your name. Okay. So, uh, the Mayor Rob Ford, it's vodka with Canada Dry... Zero sugar lemonade, and it is effervescent. Our fanciest gay friend even uh, approved it, Mister DD. Uh huh. And I brought it as a joke because I thought he would guffaw. Oh, he doesn't and, make that noise. I know, but I, if he actually listens to the show, I want him to be like, "What the fuck?" He will. He probably already did that. But bro, he's on grinder. Don't worry about it. What does that matter? It's consuming all his free time. Oh, that's so uh, you, you think. Were he's you not at listening? the dinner party over there where he's like, I could get three guys over here by the end of the dinner? And I was like, No, what? That's I don't recall that, but it doesn't so, shock me at so all. It's so transactional. It goes back to, you know, it'd be great to be attracted to men. But this is so easy. Not, uh, not because I love Bert uh, Kreischer and Tom Segura, but this is actually really good vodka, by the way. Poor mm. Osos. Get it? Like two bears? Okay. Uh huh. Huh? Is that what that is? Right. Like Two Bears, One Cave, the yeah, show? Yeah. I got it. Okay. You didn't look like you got it. <laughs> no, I mean, it's vodka. Do you want to try it? It's No, but it's like, it. it's as good as Tito's, I think, if not better. Is there any vodka in there? Yeah. God, you're such a pussy. Well, what do you want me? I have to make love to myself later. I want to make sure I can get hard. <sighs> Um, I suggest more vodka then. Here's some real helpful advice, some real stuff. Uh, I uh, signed up for Incogni. I don't like how much of my information's out on the web. I asked, I actually hit them up to see if they'd sponsor our show. Yeah. So what it does is I didn't. Know- uh, we we have a show where we overshare and uh, put it out voluntarily. We'd like to figure out how to get less of our stuff out there. Well, look, here's, here's a bit, if you're in sales or business development of any kind, or I do this with any girl, I get their phone number from a dating app. Oh. I immediately go to fastpeoplesearch.com and see if I can look up their info because I want to know what I'm getting into uh-huh. with the girls. But I'm saying like, you're... Put, I mean, immediately go how? There, go in on, front of their faces? No, no. Go on Fast People Search, put your number in there and see what ha- see what pops up. I, my name pops up. It, with your address. Yeah. I don't like it. I, I my my address pops up if you look up the tax records of the county too. So yeah, what I'm saying though is there is a way to kind of minimize your social footprint. And Incogni, what it does, it it shows you all the data brokers it's making, it's removing you from, like a hundred of them. Yeah, that's cool. And I started it last week. I think there's like sixty more they have to go. I, you know, I mean, look, this is going to be a more prevalent problem and. It's one. It sucks that it's one of those like that app Clicksees. If you do Google ads or Facebook ads, Clicksees goes will tell you exactly how many people are bullshit clicks that you're paying for, you know. And uh-huh. then it'll 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 uh, it'll blacklist the uh, IP if it's like, hey, we're only targeted in America, in the United States of America, and we're getting a lot of Bangladesh for some reason. Right. It'll kick that shit out of there. Yeah, because there's a lot of people that will flood clicks on purpose with bots and shit. Your competitors do it, so it sucks that that there has to be this thing to counteract it. Like, I've always I've had this high theory that all these futuristic movies where uh, the government takes over and it's a big entity and it's like, oh no, it's Big Brother, 1984. 
I think it's weird we voluntarily gave all this shit away. All what? All, all our, our information? Info, yeah. You know, voluntarily. Kind of. They were asking about it. I know, but it's like... We didn't be like, you know what? Let's let's send this out. Like, I think No, it's, it's like, hey, can we use this? Um, okay, fine. I think it's so crazy to pay for an Alexa and have this hockey disc listening to you at all times. Right, I mean... Like, I mean, there's a camera on our lap. Like, we got multiple oh, I know. things Look, pointed at us right now. As much as I'm, I'm pretty anal about, like, restricting all that, there's still other... There's, like, there's been movements with cable companies or internet providers for your coaxial cable to be listening to you. Because they, they're trying to say for, uh, like, improving it, uh-huh. you know, Oh, it's always for, right? for your benefit. Whatever that is called. It's better whatever for you. Whatever the phrase is, but... Just trust Isn't us. that crazy? Yeah, man. And then you see like, and I think it's probably way more advanced than we even realize. Oh yeah, but you see it with like, could be anything in your house that's. Why is it Ver- might not even need to be connected to Wi-Fi? That's how crazy it is. Why does Why does Verizon have such a boner to get Wi-Fi in your house? Like they want to have the whole vertical integration, you know? Yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, uh, Incogni- well, I mean, it's their business. Incogni is pretty awesome. Uh, I literally spent five minutes and it just started going, just started doing it. So. All right. Um, well, I don't know if you've got anything. I just wrote down a bunch of weird notes. What are your weird notes? Well, they're in Slack. I put a bunch of links in there too. If you want to pop anything up. Okay. Let's see here. Th- um, that one meme. <laughs> it was for you for aliens. Where did we start here? Was it just today? You no, got no, them? Yeah, just today. But I don't know if they're on the uh, big screen or not. They will be. Um, I can vamp for a second if you okay, need to. Okay, going to Instagram. So, uh, You know, I don't know how you feel about J.D. Vance. Well, Um, the I think he's weird. I think everybody says he's weird. I don't know. I don't know if this is like a Michelle Obama has a penis kind of thing rumor that, but there's the rumor that he fucked couches as a kid, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, right. (laughs) You're like, like, well, that then you can't be vice president. Then I was like. Yeah, so what? Isn't that funny? That's what makes them weird. That's the rumor going around that you bang couches. Right. I just think it's funny that they're all flapped up over being called weird. Call me weird, I don't care. Yeah, (laughs) I don't think he cares. Well, that's weird. Check that video out right there. This just kind of dropped this weekend. Uh, That is is all AI. That's not a real person. Oh, so we don't need the audio? Is there audio? I, I don't know. I, I I mean either I, way I was still like wow yeah you can't that like to the to Pretty the eye, crazy no you can't tell they used uh, all the fingers are there flux with Laura plus Gen three alpha image to video it's crazy we'll so that we'll get we're getting to scary times bigger. you know you you like the conspiracies with aliens I'm kind of liking the tech stuff what's the difference. Well, I mean, they're you know they're under the same umbrella, but of like I hey, mean, really, the fuckery. alien thing is tech stuff. There's some, it's pretty much all it is. I mean, it's the most advanced tech in in a way. But exactly. I'm saying like the the way businesses in like uh, kind of normal day to day stuff's happening, just like we were talking about with data. Um, while you bring up the are you, this one's cool, uh, I like these Amazon flipper people that make. Buku dollars doing it, uh, yeah, but not Gary V. Remember Gary V's video, right? I mean, what is this? All you gotta do go to the Dollar Tree and then you, you go get some things that don't sell anywhere else and sell it for eight dollars. Right. The Dollar so, Tree why for... is that different here? No, I just well, she if you go through this uh, this post, pharmacist retires up oh, that's selling. a lot of dots on the bottom. You know, we don't have to read all of them. I'm saying like it goes here's here's actually how you do it. Uh, you know, find go on junglescout.com, look for products with 600 units sold, consistent sell trend, less than two year, less than two major sellers. Okay, that's the hard part, I think. What people don't know, go to the reviews, check those for feedback. Yep, go to that's Alibaba, what... buy it in bulk, mm-hmm. and then go on. Amazon and sell it. Set it up as a seller. She basically had a squatty potty. Yeah. Right? And then she just found 
a way to get it cheap. Sold it on Amazon. I I like that because I like. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's lots of ways that you can make money if you get down to the minutia. But see, get that, down teeny tiny little things. That yeah. shows the qualifiers for this kind of uh, kind of work. You know, like Gary V just makes it in that video from like seven years ago. He's just like. You're dumb. Just go to the Dollar Tree and buy shampoo. Sell it online. Right. And you're like, okay, well, I think it's a little bit more than that. That's not really... Passion doesn't ring in my ears when I hear that shit. It's like, yeah, you're a hustler. I get it, but... Well, look, I got a bunch of silly topics, but I wanted to get some, you know, resourceful shit in here. Okay. Like, how to... You know, I hate Small Business Saturday by Amex. Do you hate that? Totally. Well... It's corporate, like, hey, uh, we're helping out the small guys, you know? It's such horseshit. What is the deal with it? Um, I'm well, looking at the pictures of the moon, so but so is everybody else. Yeah, the moon is, uh, I didn't know it had all those colors. Some of these I, I bookmarked okay, well, high. <laughs> this is the thing. Uh, is the moon real? Is that what you're going to tell? Oh, the moon's real. It's a real thing. I mean, the thing I was going to say is about, like, the coloration. Like, they fuck around with the colors on these things all the time. Like, apparently Mars isn't, like, red clay like it is. It's, like, much more organic looking yeah. than what they put out there. That's what And I'm then we're looking this. at the moon, and now it's got red all over it. Okay. It looks like it has, like, um, like a rash. Yeah. An orange rash of sorts. Mm-hmm. It looks like it was put in the oven for too long. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, at, but as, it, it kind of mind-blowing. I saw this really high the other night, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, the moon is... is We've talked about it before. It looks like a really used basketball. Yeah. Um, but uh, the moon is a—it's a funny one. So one that thing you can do to help small businesses, your friends that have small businesses. So you don't want to talk about the moon. I mean, I, I don't. I thought you—I didn't know you had more for the moon. Oh yeah, I mean, we could talk about the moon all day. You don't want to talk about how the moon is? How weird it is? How how, how it's exactly the size of to create eclipses and how? All I know about the moon is that. Your broads periods kind of sync up with it. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's a thing. Okay, fine. Talk about business. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What are you going to say? What? There's tons of stuff. I mean, dude, there's like so many like mm-hmm. satellite images that look like structures. There's lots of reports from astronauts themselves talking about things being up there. The dark side of the moon. That's weird. Why did we go in 69 and never go back? Because we fucking, we rocked that shit. We, right. We, we just nailed it, it number one time. Anything. How many how many people have been out on the moon? Like eight or something like that? Oh. I mean, if ever. That's debatable. Wink wink. Mm-hmm. What about uh what about those two astronauts that went up? They're supposed to go up for eight days, now they're stuck in for Yeah, eight thanks, months. Boeing. <laughs> oh, you guys want to come back? And Shit. One has uh, the lady, I feel bad for the dude because the chick is one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen. Uh-huh. She looks like uh have you ever watched Tango and Cash? There's a bad guy with like a fake jaw, like a prosthetic jawline. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, I mean, it is like Jay Leno. Was, Jay Leno would be like, "Damn, dude, that is a big chin." You might just jump. She looks like Bob Hope. I think I can make it. Give me a parachute. I think I can make it. <laughs> I mean, they have to fuck. Eight months, dude. No, they don't. Oh, and, and concerns about their safety of living from because they're in Boeing shit. Yeah. I don't know what this lady looks like. You know. It, it will put a boner as a tail. Right. It, it'll reverse That's boner. the last thing you want to do. <laughs> That's what my doctor said. I mean, you go out like that. Oof. Um Really not putting a bow on things. What other moon stuff you got? Enlighten me. I mean, okay, here, let's look up structures on the moon. While you're looking. Okay. What I was going to say is I hate Small Business Saturday because it's a corporate bullshit kind of campaign by uh, Amex. That's a huge credit card company that probably fucks over a lot of people. But one way I was like, we haven't brought this up in a while on the show. One way to really help your friends, local business, their their startup or, or whatever, um, 69 B2B, remember that? Yes. You know? You, I'll help you out. They'll help you out. So one one thing I was thinking was, um, you know, one thing that's free, that's really easy, just takes a little bit of thoughtfulness, is you just go give them a Google review, five star review. If you're if you hear my raspy voice right now, you could take a minute 
and go, which I have five friends that probably have a local business, you know? Yeah. So here's one that says massive structure, which could be water on the moon, but it says it's uh, weighs at least 2.1 billion kilograms. Measures 186 know. miles. I don't know metric system. Is that a lot? I just said 186 miles and 1,200 miles. 186 miles in depth and 1,200 in length, whatever that is. And that's st- not even a weird one. That's that's something that I just got sidetracked with because it popped right up. And Sir Reginald's wife was on there from Umbrella Academy. Yeah, I just finished season four. No big deal. See, I wish I would have prepared for this. Because but- it's good fit. We don't prepare. This is the... I can't believe I wrote a set list. How's it going to this? So, while you're looking... We're all looking together. Well, I have... um, I wrote this in our Slack. But, man, I was watching the Olympics. First off, breaking is awesome to watch. Did you watch any of the breakdancing? I saw the Australian phenom. The one that looks like she's like... uh, (laughs) Like cerebral palsy. (laughs) Kinda, just kind of laid around, <laughs> right? Uh, with like her, 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 like arms crimped like a T Rex. Um, what's it called? The uh, breaking's funny as shit. I was watching uh, the like Ukraine breaking is what the women's one is the best because they're trying to look badass, yes. and they're like the chi- it was China versus <laughs> versus Ukraine. I was like. I'm going to sit down and watch this. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to look at my phone. I'm going to zone down. Cause the Chinese woman was like, she's trying to look like badass, and, but you're dancing, you know? So you can't really do it. And then they're doing like crazy moves, but they keep their mouth closed cause they want to look hard as fuck. Like they're in a rap battle, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I saw that and was like, what, what sketch show is this showing break dancing? At the Olympics, that's hilarious. I the like, I don't. Real. I was like, I don't want to watch the men's. I only want to watch women's because I was like, these. They'll are, be the best ones. Well, no, this is the silliest. Like they were good. Don't get me wrong. They're good at what they're doing, but it's the like, you know, you have to do like the the kind of hop walk around kind of thing. Uh huh. And I think you're allowed they amp up when you're not on because they're both on this big circle platform at the same time, and they're trying to like wave them off like you ain't nothing. Uh-huh. But they can't say anything. So they have to just kind of pantomime, like, fuck you kind of thing. But they don't <laughs> say it. They just kind of have to overact, you know? It's so funny. Um, but the one thing I was watching the Olympics that I was thinking about was uh, I was watching, I forget what it's called, but it's the horse jumping whatever horse. Oh, um, dressage. Dressage? Dressage. Is that what it's really called? Yeah. So I'm watching. Where they go? <laughs> Yeah, well, there's that. Yeah. Do they jump over the little hurdles? If they get the right music, it's dope. Well, sure. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Don't sure me. It is dope. Well, yeah. We play a little 80s music with in the in the sound bed. Now nah, we're talking. Nah, it needs to be like... Fancy? Biggie Smalls. Oh. Um, I'm sure Eggs Tyrone on Instagram. It'll be something. there. Yeah, it'll be there. He's the best. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, what's it called? The horse, like the ones where they jump over like hurdles in a course or whatever. That that's yeah. Just I was getting an argument with a friend I was watching this with, and she I was like, I went over to her. I was like, Yo, the horses are doing all the work. Like they should get a big horse medal. If I know can. it's like why do we why do why why do we even have jockeys? The dogs don't need jockeys. I was like, Yeah, the jockey. Look, if anything, is you put little monkeys on the dogs. It takes a lot. Look, it takes a lot to, I'm sure, wrangle the horse to do what you needed to do. Don't get me wrong. They're, I respect the jockeys. But I don't think horses should be in the Olympics unless they get a huge horse medal if they win. Yeah. And then I Or would, why not have their own Olympics? And then my friend I was talking to, I stumbled into a bad conversation where she got really offended. And I was like, were you a horse girl growing up? She's like, I still am. And I'm like, no, you're not. Like you be it, you be out there with ho- ho- women that love horses are fucking weird. Huh. Like why? It's their whole life. Like well, that's just because horses are a lot of work. That's what I'm saying. But like it is like I I my I was making two of my buddies laugh. I was at lunch and I was they're like, "How's the dating apps work?" And I was like, 
well, I'll never swipe right on a girl that loves horses, that has like her own horse, or is like a picture of her jumping over something with the horse on it, you know? Because they, they're all horses or nothing. Well, yeah. They, horse, you don't know, kind of, yeah. you've never experienced this? Well, no, I know what you're saying, because if you have a horse, you're living out in the middle of nowhere, because you got to have a place to put the horse, you got to wake up, feed that motherfucker every day, take it for its walks and all these things, and, you know, groom it. And it's shoe it. hella expensive. Yeah. Veterinarian comes out, it ain't like taking your puppy to the vet. Do you remember that they one guy? House calls. I told you about that one guy who had the podcast, like, um, uh, like trade show or event or whatever. A while back, and he told me the number one profitable podcast was a horse podcast. Yeah, about like it's fucking breeding. The guy made like eight high. figures on it, and he had like a thousand listeners. Yeah, because his thousand listeners were all billionaires. Oh man, we should have done a horse podcast. We still could. Uh, I mean, we might need to. I don't know. I we uh, you could you might have some knowledge on horses. I don't have that. Well, a little bit. Of, I mean, all of, I, then, I like horses, and then just to kind of get a feel. For if there's weird horse ladies, ladies that are crazy, I kind of wanted to poke the bear. So I did a Facebook post that said, like, horses should get a medal. Uh, and, like, horses are for uh, uh, betting on, <laughs> uh, for cowboys and weird horse women. And I got, like, ten ladies that I know personally, like, oh, what the fuck? Like, you think you're better than me? <laughs> like, I was like. I mean, you went from cowboys to horse women. Well, I mean, gambling. Too. Something, you know, I was trying to make a joke, obviously, obviously, but cra- oh. I, there is a weird thing there. I'm going to investigate more. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. But they're like, why don't you like horses? I'm like, I like them fine. I'm not obsessed with them. You know, when someone's so obsessed with like an animal, it's, it's Carol Baskins isk. Yes. Uh, I mean, Esk. I just think it, you have to be right or they die. Right. It sucks. And horses smell like shit all the time. Right. Little girls. Horses need their own house. I was trying to explain this to my dog. My dog doesn't need a big barn. Horse needs a barn. Your dog's like a little bear. Yeah. Look, it's it's the same passion that I hate out of Disney adults. I I hate Disney adults more. That I don't I think that's worse. Disney adults, no kids? Fuck, dude. No, that's just creepy. Dude, uh, there's a lot of them out there. There's so many. Have you seen the, uh, what about... I think having a horse is way less creepy. Than there that. is a lane on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram of obese Disney adults or amusement park adults that will give tips for other fatties going to the park. And it's like, you can't ride this one because, you know, it doesn't go over my fupa. And you're like, oh my Sweet God. Jesus. Oh my... That's a great tip. There is a market for this out there. There's a market for everything if you lean into it hard enough. Well, my favorite one post COVID is OnlyFans. We have it's been boundless. How many dudes are creepy and will watch shit online and pay for it? Yeah. How many women have hit you up about like, hey, I know you know marketing. Do you you know how I can get an OnlyFans going? <laughs> like, I just want to show my feet. And I was like, I, I don't know. I've had twenty probably ask me privately. No comment. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> You're on there. Your feet are on there. Oh, boy. That's why you have all those Jordans. Are we done? On that note, <laughs> we better be, baby. I forgot. <laughs>